Hi, Mark Savage here. Now, I would have shown you, this is a shock absorber, BMW 1 Series. And it just sits in, you've got right hand, you've got left hand. You can see these two were knackered. And they were banging, you get that horrible banging noise. And I want to show you how easy this was to do. But I can't, because it really bloody wasn't. I started videoing, and whether it's, I'm just not well or not, I don't know. But do you know what, it was a real bitch for a job. You've got this arm here, that goes to here. You've got to undo that bolt. You've got to drop the belly pan first and then move it away. You've got another leg here. You've got to undo that one. That's a bitch as well. You've got a bolt here that holds your shock on. Take the side off. You have to try and get it out. Another bitch. You've got a drop link that goes up and down here. I'll show you in a second. Stop. The drop link. You can undo it, but you can't quite get it out unless you jack it up. Not too bad. You get all that done. Then you've got to move to the top. But before you do that, you've got to lower this all, wiggle it round, that comes out, this doesn't want to go, the bolt hits on this steering rack here, I'm going to show you in a second, and eventually you, you get a bit of wood and you've got to knock it down. You've got another stand here as well, and no actual stand, just in case you're making so much banging around. And eventually, you can drop this down. Then you've got to go up the top, and there's three little bolts that you think are easy, they turn round, do you know? And eventually you can get the damn thing out. It's not the end there either, because you've got the spring. And you've got to get the clamp, so you've got to buy a clamp set, a compression spring set, you've got to clamp it down, and of course, the spring, you can't get the top and bottom, you've only got the middle ones. So it barely clamps it enough for you to get this nut off, it doesn't, it spins round. A pair of mole grips, always do the top, <laughs> don't do the bottom, you'll damage it more. Hold it, and you get the nut off, and you're sort of, you know, squinting, and it comes off lucky enough and there's no big spring noise. Then you've got to put it all back together again. Then you've got to get the spring clamp, you've got to hold it again, put the washer down again, oh, it just goes on. And then you've got to try and get it back in here, and lifting it up, making sure this leg isn't down, that leg isn't down, the drop link's up. I forgot about the speed sensor, you've got to take that out as well, about pulling that off. It went on. And eventually, you get it pushed back up again, and the drop link is miles away, so you've got to bring that back up, put it in, you've got to drop it down again, because the bolt turns round. Then you've got to go up there again, they spin round, you've got to get a screwdriver and pull it left and right. Hell, a couple of hours, and you think, finally done it, and then you've got to do it again on the other bloody side. I try and give you information and helpful advice that will get you through, and some of the peds and stuff I've done before has been quite, you know, in-depth. And even on a big truck, I've got to do that, because no one else should do it, because eight foot wide, I can't put it in the garage, you've got to. But this, if I'm truthfully honest with you, for the pain that you go through trying to get all this, just these two off, and the, they're that 55 pound for cheap ones, you got to 100 and odd pound, uh, 160 quid for some silly ones, you just don't need them. Um, for the pain you have to go through, not that many tools at the clamp springs, the spring compressors, I took it in the garage. That's my, my best advice, short, simple video, but I will show you what's involved quickly now. Belly pan off. That one there, the nut's back here somewhere, 19 mil, 18 mil. <laughs> this one here, that bit there and that bit there, you get the bolt and the nut off. That one hasn't got a nut on it. The drop link up here, you've got to get that out, but again, you've got compression to pull it down to get it out afterwards. Got me all the leads here. This bit here, and this, you can see it's new. That is a bitch to get out. Both sides, I ain't got the strength to honest with you. A gun didn't, impact gun didn't work. Eventually get it out, and what I had to put a screwdriver and tapped it up to open it, and eventually knocked it out, it took ages. And then this spring here, which you can see, is a bitch. The bolt here catches on this. That bolt catches right on there. You can't, you jack it up, jack it down, it won't, it won't you can't knock it out. You don't have to do this um, anti roll bar and the bit there, you don't have to do that. Remember where it's marked up and the bolt back here and the connections and everything else. You don't take the caliper off, that's okay. And these three nuts, that one, you only have a spanner, you only get a small little turn each time. That one gets spinning round, that one was okay, that one gets spinning round, and eventually you can wiggle it and then the whole thing here drops out. And then say so you've got to do it all reverse and then the other side. My best advice, shortest video. Yes, I've done it. Would I suggest you do it? On the gradients of one to five, it isn't a big, big job. It's just very cumbersome, very time consuming. And on a Victor scale, oh, I'd pay someone else to do it. Cut a hundred pound possibly. 
let them do it to be honest with you. And if you really want to go for it, there's a couple of videos of people show you how to drop what I've just explained without showing you. Because I did do it, but four hours later, I'm thinking, you know what? I wish I hadn't started. Has it sorted the problem out? Yes, it has. Does it drive better? Yes. No, did 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 noise out of it. It could have been one of three things, actually. It could have been them two bits I've shown you. It could have been an anti-roll as well, you know, and the torsion bit. It could have been the drop link. You know, several things it could be. But lucky enough, it was these two horrible shocks. And job done, they were £120 for the pair. And I had to buy the laser clamp kit as well, 40 quid. Um, so you've got to add that into the price as well. But there you go, this is all done now. Handbrake is done. The shocks are done. I'll give it full service. Yes, I poured oil everywhere. <laughs> Wife's still not happy about that. There we go. Right, simple one, Mark Savage. Check my videos out. Sorry I didn't do it to show you, but it's just a lot of work. Take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves on the road. Bye bye.